another question I feel like we got quite a bit was, how did you find friends? How did you have a social life? Or did you have a social life? Um, I never have had a social life, no. Um, I have less of social life now. But what are friends? What are friends? Um, that's a really good question because I feel like earlier on, maybe in homeschooling's um, birth, it would have been a lot harder to find those connections. I think there's so many different programs like now. Families. Uh, yeah, and I'm saying back, like, like years ago, 30 years ago, and all like ago, you know yeah. would have probably you know 30, 40 years ago when it kind of kicked off. Um, that would have been a real challenge. You would have had to really work to find outlets. So if you didn't have na- ki- you know, kids in your neighborhood, you would have really had to work to probably find people because you just didn't have those connections. Well, and I guess that's what I wonder too, because neighborhood kids usually find each other and hang out and do things. At least, at least <laughs> your homeschool. Shun. <laughs> but like we did. And yeah. may, maybe that's uncommon. Maybe kids don't normally go out. In their, I feel like it's pretty normal yeah. for kids. Like if they're young growing up, you're going to go yeah. out and be like, oh, if look, there's a the neighbor suburbs, kid. Like you're I'm probably going to find other Right. Friends. So like I get if you live out in the sticks that like, yeah, you're not going to have a neighbor that it's you're going to go run over to their house. Sorry, but yeah, like, cool. but, like but, but we did. So yeah. that's why when people are like, how did you find friends? I'm like, well, I stepped out my front door and I went yeah, and played basketball with the kid next door. You meet kids so quickly. When you get older and everyone looks at their phones, it is a lot harder to find people. Right. And I guess maybe today would be different because kids aren't, not as many kids, I guess, are running out and playing cops and robbers, you know, in their, you know, bicycles or whatever, like Mm -hmm. we did. Mm -hmm. Um, But yeah, so like that, that was a big avenue. I think er, the early years. Yeah. Yeah. So the the early years, the friendships were definitely just more neighborhood based and based on um, family friends who had kids as well. So there was that aspect. So we had, you know, we went in those groups. Um, One reason why I laughed at that question was because, again, it's figuring that we didn't have any other social outlets or yeah. any other connections of people, you know, which I get most kids do. School is their primary function in the mm-hmm. early years. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we're, you know, Christian. We went to a church. So we had, you know, our friends from church or friends or functions, for, you know, that we'd have mm-hmm. other families and mm-hmm. interact and hang out with other people. Yeah. Um, so even that in early years, we also had that out. So we had neighborhood kids, we had you know church relationships, and so there was mm-hmm. multiple ways for us to have a lot of friends. Mm-hmm. And I wouldn't. I mean, I don't know if, you know from experience, but I would think that there are oftentimes that kids who do, do go to school, their close friends may not go to the same school they do. You know, they may right. have close friends through another outlet, yep. uh, whether that be sports or whatever. So. Um, by not having the school aspect, do you cut down on the interaction with other kids? You know, absolutely. But that doesn't mean that you are somehow completely, you know, isolated in the hill somewhere. I mean, right. you may have been, but uh, <laughs> it, doesn't, it, it doesn't mean that you had to, you know. Um, but I think, you know, as years have gone on and kind of in homeschooling, the life of homeschooling as, as a kind of a, um, uh, an option for um, schooling, um, I think there's become a lot more programs that have come available, a yeah. lot more outlets. I mean, we were part of a, you know, a homeschool right. co-op. A local co-op of people, the families that would get together, kind exactly. of like an organized right. place, time, um, you had know, a, functions. Kind of a school structure. You, know. you, yeah. you saw people on a weekly basis. So yeah. there's, and I think more and more, there's just become outlets in different ways that people can interact where it doesn't feel like you're just, you know, doing the whole, um, like, life on the prairie. Right. You're, you're, you're well, and like our trail. older brother was an example. He played, you know, middle school basketball, high school basketball. So he had That's all those relationships. Friends, yeah. Right. So he had outlets. He was still able to, you know, just because you're homeschooled doesn't mean you can't use this local school's functions. You know, you even took a high school class from the local high school. We don't, we're not, you're not totally isolated from them. You can mm-hmm. still get connected in ways that you want. And that's what, I know yeah. this is kind of going off the question, but like one reason why I enjoyed it was that flexibility of kind of you get to pick what you want to do as opposed to just being locked into one system. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I don't kind of mm-hmm. jump into another topic there. But yeah. so yeah, there, was, there were multiple ways to have friends and a social life and... And I feel like with any, I mean, so you know, social relationship, you know, now as adults, uh, it's the same thing. It's kind of like, you know, you have to put in the effort to find people. Um, you know, if you don't look around and try to get involved with that stuff, you probably won't have a whole lot of friends. Um, but if you, you know, put yourself out there, likely you're going to find people to have in your life. And I guess one aspect of this too, being a younger brother, having two older brothers, being homeschooled, you're constantly interacting. Granted, they're family, they're brothers. You're going to be friends or you should be. Hopefully, enemies, no. um, but you're also hanging out with someone older. Where, like, I would think, I don't know, maybe I'm not. I'm speaking from inexperience, but you would be just with your age group. So you're just gonna be interacting with your age group. Where, like, yeah, you know, yeah. maybe for me, I'm a little more confident. Like, oh, I can go talk to someone older because I've got an older brother. You know, I don't know. Maybe yeah. maybe that didn't happen a whole lot. You kind of stick with yeah, your, well, I feel your like group because we're relatively close in age, about two years. Um, you 
tended to hang around more with my age group, right. generally speaking. Yeah, I was usually you were more one. connected with that one. Right. Yeah. So just um, so it wasn't like you were completely locked into one yeah. grade per se. Right. Right. And again, like I should say that there's a lot of people that have that had normal schooling experiences that reached out and talked to older and younger grades and, you know, had mm-hmm. relations around. But yeah. I would think that normally you would have people that were you know, similar age. And I feel like, you know, I kind of just ventured beyond that. Mm-hmm.